Thank you for listening to this week's message from Go Church. We hope it encourages you today. For more information about Go Church, check us out online at letsgo.church. We hope you enjoy today's message. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have ever prayed and you've asked God for something and God said yes? He answered the prayer. Would you put a hand in the air? You've prayed before. That's pretty awesome. Go ahead, hold it up really high. Everybody look around, look around. Okay, we shouldn't be shocked. I'm just thankful. I'm just thankful, man, that we serve a God that hears prayers, that answers prayer, that we have experienced this in our life. It's amazing. So I'm curious the other way. How many of you have ever prayed, you've asked God for something, and God said, nope. He said, "Uh uh-uh, nope, not today, Bubba, ain't happening. Let me see a hand. Okay, now look around, look around. It's like almost all the same people. We've all probably prayed a prayer, and hopefully God has answered it. But there have been times in our life where we have prayed something, where we've meant it with all of our heart. And God said, not today, Bubba, no, not going to happen. Which is probably a good thing, because if you think about the totality of your life and all of the prayers that you have prayed, I guess if God would have given me every prayer I've ever prayed, Optimus Prime would be living with me at my house. I would, I'd be going to high school with Peter Parker. I would be able to fly. <laughs> Think about some of the things that you've prayed. How many of you have ever prayed for that right boyfriend or girlfriend back in the day? Have you ever done one of those prayers, like a romantic prayer? God's in the right one. This is the right one. I know it is. This is your will. I was thinking about this, and my mind went back to the seventh grade. Can you imagine if God answered yes to every prayer you prayed in the seventh grade? This world would be falling apart. So the seventh grade, I had a crush on this girl named Megan. And man, I thought Megan was so pretty, and she's so funny, and she's so pretty, and she's, I haven't said smart or strong or any, she's just pretty and, I mean, she's, she's great. So I was praying like, God, you know, I want to be boyfriend, girlfriend, we're going to get old, and we're going to be married, and, and I'm just praying, and I'm praying, and it reminded me as I'm thinking about this, my brain works strangely sometimes, and sometimes it goes to either movie quotes or scenes or music. And so I'm thinking about this, and this song comes from out of nowhere into my head, and it was by Garth Brooks. He did this old song called Unanswered Prayer. (laughs) Sometimes I thank God for unanswered prayer. I do, especially when I was downstairs in the basement hanging out with my boys, Ethan and Levi, and Taylor, who's Levi's girlfriend, was there. I said, Taylor, help me find Megan on Facebook. Help me track her down. We did. We found Megan. I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus, that you brought Becky my way. I, woo. Sometimes I thank God for unanswered prayer. And actually right here, like, I don't know if you can see this, but Becky was proofreading my message a little bit, and she circled right here, stupid Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Becky knew Megan. <laughs> Becky took her out. No, I'm really. So God answers our prayers. So we are in this series, God of Miracles, and you're in a place that believes God answers prayer. You're in a place that believes that God hears our prayer when we are praying according to God's will. We have this confidence that God hears us. Now, it might not be every Optimus Prime Spider-Man prayer you ever pray that God says yes to, but there are some prayers that he does answer with a yes. So I want us to focus in, of course, on our topic, God of Miracles. So let's define it. Grab your communication card, grab a pen, and flip it over right on the top, right on the back. I want you to write this down. We're going to define a miracle. A miracle. Very simply, we could get more technical, but very simply, I'm going to define it this way. It's God's supernatural intervention in our lives. God stepping in. God taking our natural, putting his super in front of it, a little supernatural move of God 
something that we can't create on our own. We can't do it on our own. We can't achieve it on our own. It's God moving according to his will on our behalf in some way, and we believe in a miracle working God. So think about God and praying. We've already established. We've had some answered. We've had some, thankfully, not unanswered. But there are three basic truths I want to give you about praying and God moving and God answering. And I want us to think about this. Write it down. Here's the first one. Write this down. Fill in this blank. God does some things only in answer to prayer. In your life, there are some things that if you don't pray for it, it's not going to happen. God is waiting for this faith, this interaction, this request. It is a part of the relational dynamic. So there are some prayers that have to be asked. We've got to say, God, I want you to move in my life. I'm asking you to do this. Second thing, write it down. God does some things without anyone praying. Anyone praying. Students in the house, did anybody pray for God to create humanity or the world? He just did it. He just wanted to do it, so he did it. Sometimes in our life, God does things that we haven't prayed for, thought about, even considered, but God just does it because he wants to. Number three, you write this down. God does some things contrary to prayers made. Megan sometimes doesn't work out. Sometimes Optimus Prime does not materialize and drive you to school. There are some prayers that you can pray, and they might not be, (laughs) I'm hoping that you're not praying like evil prayers. God, I pray that you would help my boss have a flat tire today. And I'm hoping we're not praying that, but there are some prayers that because of God's will and because of his nature and character, he's like, nah, that's going to be a no on that one. So to operate and create a framework in